Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I finally got some motivation and got off my tail and finally picked out a front end that I'm going to use for my truck. Uh, as you can see from the title, I went ahead and picked up a mid-80s, I think it's an 86 Jaguar XJ front end. I know uh, originally I was planning on picking out one of the nicer Mustang II front ends and um, I just kept reading more and more about these Jaguar front ends and it just started to make sense and I looked in on Craigslist and I saw a guy right up the street from me already had this one plucked out of the car had it for sale went up there grabbed it um, so in this video it's gonna be a one of probably three videos of me installing it in the truck in this video I'm gonna go over all the points on the pros and why I like it so much uh, first of all it they are cheap super cheap I paid a little bit on the higher range of the of the prices they usually go for around 200 bucks from the junkyard I paid 300 for this one but just because it was right up the street and it was already out of the car it was worth it to me um, second they can be a bolt-on affair I mean they only mount in four spots you can tie in on these front bushings and then I'm missing the mounts on them but they have mounts on the rear so if you wanted to install it where it's a bolt-in affair, all you would have to do is make brackets on uh, the frame, and it's as simple as that. Um, another thing why I like these front ends is they come with disc brakes and these big calipers. These rotors are a little messed up, but um, I'll pick up some new ones. And that brings another point, the parts on these are fairly inexpensive and you can go to your local AutoZone or O'Reilly's and they'll have an assortment of parts for them. They have the nice uh, four pot calipers. They also come with power steering which is nice. Um, mine came with power steering pump as well so you might want to look for that if you're plucking one of these out from the junkyard. Also these have forged arms which are really strong and um, if you want to airbag them, it's a really simple affair. I mean, the hard part is getting the coils out, which is really tricky because there's a plate underneath that's held in by four bolts, and there's a lot of tension on it. So you have to be really careful when you pull the coils out. But you just need to modify that bottom plate and the, the top perch, and you can easily install airbags, which I'll be doing, so I'll have a video on that as well. Also, it comes uh, standard with the sway bar, which you'll need if you're running airbags because if you only have the one valve, you'll get a little bit of a float from side to side. Um, now, saying there's there's a couple ways you can mount them. There's a mount the soft mount way where you just mount probably brackets up here and in the back for the bushings. I'm probably gonna weld it in because the way I want it to sit, I want it to sit really low. So after I measure the axle center line, I'm probably going to notch the frame out a little bit where the subframe will sit and just weld it in and I'll bring my um, stance a lot lower. But we'll see. I, I still need to take all the old suspension out, mock it up, and then uh, we'll go from there. But like I said, I'll have a couple more videos. I'm going to show how to take out those coil springs, how to modify the purchase for airbags, and then uh, when I finally mock it in. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and uh, catch my next video. Bye.